Hey everyone, Johnny here. In this video, I'm going to show you three new geometry nodes that I coded up that have been accepted into the Blender code base. Let's get into it. The first one is the Curve Circle node. This one is found under the Curve Primitives Circle. In its most basic form, you specify a radius and a resolution. Because this resolution can go all the way down to three, this is also a polygon node. So I can create triangles, squares, pentagons, and so forth and so on, until I get my resolution high enough that it's indistinguishable from a circle. With two of these circle nodes, you could create a torus shape completely in geometry nodes. The second mode for the circle node is the points node. This mode takes three locations and determines the circle that passes through those three points. As an example, I'm gonna use three empties. Now, as I move these empties, now as I move these empties, the circle will adjust so they're always on the perimeter. Of course, this one also has a resolution, so this doesn't have to be a circle. You will notice if you go below a certain resolution that your control points end on the circle that circumscribe your polygon and not on the polygon itself. The next node we want to look at is the quadratic Bezier node. This node creates a segment out of three control points. As you can see, the control points are at negative 100, which is right here, 020, which is up here, and 100, which is right here. I'm going to use these empties again so that it's easier to see what's going on. You can also control the resolution here as well. Of course, you can use the curve to mesh node and a circle node to make tubes. Lastly is the Bezier segment node. This creates a Bezier segment using two endpoints and two intermediate handles. I'm going to wire this up to these empties so it's easier to see what's going on. So while the quadratic Bezier node had one control point in the middle, so while the quadratic Bezier node had one control point in the middle, this one has a control point that goes with the start and a control point that goes with the end. This way you can get more complex curves. Having both options should hopefully give you some flexibility. The Bezier segment node has one other option, and that's an offset mode. I'm going to remove the empties that are controlling my handles, and change to offset mode. Now, instead of our handles being fixed positions, their settings here act as an offset from the start and the end handles. So if I want my start handle to be one meter high above the start position, I could change this to 0, 1, 0. Now, no matter where I move my start position, my start handle will always be one meter above it, thus preserving this output shape. And say I wanted the opposite for the end handle. I could go zero, negative one, zero. So now this will always go out at the same angle, no matter where I put it. I hope these three new nodes give you some great new ideas, and I hope they inspire you to make something awesome. As you can probably tell, I've been having a great time coding up these new nodes, and it makes me excited that they're gonna be used to make some really cool art. So these three nodes will be available in the alpha build of Blender 3.0, which is available to download at builder.blender.org. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed already, why don't you go ahead and do that? So until next time, I'll catch you later.